please. Allow me to show you something. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Alex. This is The Car Creative. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to teach you how to correct this mistake that we all make when we're shooting cars because you get out there and you're just like, oh, uh, turn the wheel, le left, more, yeah, okay, a bit forward, a bit back, and then you just, ch -ch -ch -ch, you just have a great time. But this is the same mistake we all make is that emblem on the wheel is always rotated the wrong way. So in this specific example, I'm gonna show you guys how I turn that emblem around, make it right side up, and just fix that mistake we all make. Now, of course, for the most part, whether you're shooting for Instagram or something, this doesn't matter so much, but if you're a little bit of a perfectionist and you just wanna make sure that that photo is perfect, or you're shooting for a proper client, maybe someone that's paying you, or in this instance, Ford Canada or something, which I'm not shooting for Ford Canada, would though, Ford Canada, you know, if you want to. So we will be using Photoshop mainly. I'm gonna be using the one on the iPad, but all these tools obviously are used on the Photoshop desktop version as well. So I'll walk you through that. But before we get into it, I do wanna tell you guys about an amazing local photographer. Uh, I'm from Calgary, he's from Edmonton. Amazing, amazing car photographer. I'm super inspired by the way he shoots and edits and he just started a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna post it up here somewhere. He just posted like five amazing tips and tricks, and some of them are way different than the way that I edit, so I think you guys might be able to pull something from it, so go check out his YouTube channel. He's a really cool guy, amazing photographer, and shoots incredible cars, so you definitely wanna go check him out. And the last thing before we get into this, I'm gonna be doing another episode of me editing your raw car photos, so I'm gonna put my email down below here and send me, I don't know, one, two or three of your favorite car photos and then I'm gonna be doing another episode of editing your photos so try and get those submitted before Sunday whatever the date is that I'm putting here because then I'm gonna start editing them and you maybe you're too late but we'll do it again because I really enjoy editing your guys photos so we're in Photoshop here and this is just a really quick before and after of what we're going for this is actually a pretty tricky one to edit where I think most emblems might be a little bit simpler where you can actually just rotate it or something and it's gonna be a lot easier, but this one's a bit complicated. So follow me through it. We're gonna use some layers. We're gonna use some masks and brushes, but it's gonna be really easy. So there's just three steps we're gonna go through. So as you can see here, the first step is we're gonna duplicate this layer. All right, so once you have your layer duplicated, you're gonna come into this selection tool and we are just gonna draw around the subject here. And it might be easiest to go all the way around the loop. We'll see, it depends on the emblem of your car. So we're gonna take that and then we are going to transform it. So we're gonna start by just spinning it around. Now that we've got it spun around, you're gonna go into your settings for that layer and we're gonna drop the opacity down to about 50%. And the reason that we're doing this is because we wanna line up the emblem as close as possible to what it was previously, so that when we paint that back in, they're gonna line up really well. So of course, if you're shooting like front on, it's gonna be a lot easier to just cut that emblem out and then maybe even just spin it and you might just be good to go. We'll paint it back in. With this one, because it's a bit oval, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I'll show you how we do that. So we've got the opacity down to 50, and then we're gonna take this transform Form tool. Now I want to use what's called like the free transform. So you can take this one here and we are going to just pull all the corners around until we get the closest lineup of all the oval kind of corners. This is going to make it a lot easier when we want to paint that logo back in. So you kind of have to just fiddle with it until you get it just right. This again might be a lot easier with any of the other car emblems like Mercedes for example You would just pull that out spin it paint it back in you're good to go this one. We're trying to line it up perfectly So we'll see how that goes All right, so that's pretty close there. So I'm gonna hit done We're gonna bring the opacity back up and you can see that they're lined up pretty good there so from here, we're gonna add a mask onto this layer because we really actually just want the emblem part. So the mask tool is this button right here. 
I'm gonna select that. You can see it's making kind of a, a black overlayer and then the white little selected part, you can kind of see it really, you can see it kind of small in there. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna paint black in. So we've come back over here to your brush. You can see you can kind of select which paint color you want on the iPad, you just kind of flick through to do it. We're gonna take the black color and then as you see here, I'm gonna take this brush and you might have to fiddle with the settings like the size, the flow and how much it's feathered but I'm just gonna take this black brush and we're gonna paint away the rest of this because we just want that little bit, that Ford bit. And by the way, if you don't know what chromatic aberration is, it's one of those kind of selections you get in Lightroom. You can fix your lens distortion and chromatic aberration. This is a really good idea of what chromatic aberration is and I should have fixed this, but I didn't. So now you know what chromatic aberration is. That's a hard one to say, jeez. Okay, so we're just gonna paint this out and get kind of as close as you can to that emblem and we'll see how well we can do. Again, you might just have to fiddle with the feathering a little bit. Because this emblem's so close, even if we get a little bit of the edge there, it's probably gonna be okay. Whoa, undo, undo. Now we are in real close here, but once you zoom out, You'll see it might not matter quite as much because we're just like really in here fiddling with the details. So when you back out, there you go. And just like that, your Ford emblem has been swapped around. It's just so much cleaner. Now when someone looks at this, they're gonna be like, that's a nice Ford wheel. This is the before and after of the emblem being flipped around. It makes a little bit of a difference, you know? It's really just that difference between that level of professionalism or making your photo just look perfect versus just kind of throwing it up on the web and being like, hashtag Wheel Wednesday and then just being good with it, which I mean, for the most part is totally okay because I do that all the time. But if you wanna take your photography to the next level, this is one way to do it with those three easy steps. But I do hope that this tip is like helpful for you guys moving forward. If you guys are getting professional photography jobs in the future, that this will be something you guys can use to make awesome car photography. I wanna thank you guys so much because you guys have been so kind. I've already got a ton of submissions for me editing your raw photos and the things that you guys are saying in the emails are just so kind. I really appreciate all your positive feedback and all the love that's coming. Um, and you guys have been subscribing, you guys have been showing up in Instagram and it's just meaning so much to me. So anyone that's watching this that hasn't subscribed, consider subscribing and I've never said this before but maybe turn the bell on, then you can get notified when I post my videos. Also don't forget to hit that like button if you guys learned something something new or found this helpful. And otherwise guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.